Good day viewers, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is your presenter, Mr. Mlenga. So right here with me, I've got a question that is coming from uh, linear programming. Okay, so let us look at the graph that is on the board. So we have been given this graph right here, which has these four uh, lines. One, two, three. Yeah, sorry, it has got three. One, two, three. So the question is, write down three inequalities which describe each of the given and shaded regions so you can see that for this line we have the shaded region down here then on top it's unshaded so they want you to to come up with an inequality that is going to describe this unshaded what region okay we also have this line right here shaded this side we also have this line okay so let us come up with now the three inequalities okay so uh before we we describe the the inequalities let us first take a look at something whenever they are they ask you to describe the the inequality okay which inequality is showing this unshaded what region you need to bear in mind that we have to know the lines okay we have to know the lines. so we have this line this is called a solid line then we have this other line like this okay this other line is called a dotted what line. This is a dotted line. So since we are dealing with the inequalities, so we know that inequalities, they normally use symbols such as uh, greater than or less than. So if you have a line like this, a solid line, just know that your inequality should have a greater than or equal to symbol or less than or equal to. So it should be equal to, okay? Meaning that even the... The, the value where this line is, is part of the solution set. For example, if I say 2 greater or equal to, I'm st I'll start with 2 itself because it's equal to itself. Then I'll consider numbers that are greater than 2, which is 3, 4, going like that, okay? If I say 2 greater than, 2 greater than, okay? So 2 greater, meaning I'll just consider the numbers that are greater to 2, which are 3, 4. I won't include 2. That's what it means. So if it's equal to itself, even that number should be part of the solution what it set. So I hope we have gotten something from there. Okay. Now, let us move on. Alright. So let us first identify. We start, I'll name this as my line A. This one. Okay. So my line A, it's in the, this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. So this line is passing through this point, which is in the y-axis, y is equal to 3. So I'll say y equal to 3, okay? So this is, uh, this is the equation. Now, they want you to write or to describe this unshaded part using the inequality, okay? So this is, a, this is a solid line, you can see. It's not dotted. So the upper region, which is the unshaded part here, is greater, okay? It's greater. So, we are going to write y, I will leave space right here, I will write 3. Then, which inequality sign are we going to use? I've said the unshaded part is greater, okay? So, we say greater, we are going to say greater. Now, look at the line. The line is solid line, so we are going to put equal to. So, y is greater or equal to 3. This is our answer, okay? This is the inequality for this line, which is describing the unshaded what? Region. Okay? I hope it's clear. Let us come to this other line, which is passing right here. We will name this as our line B. So, we'll say line B. Now, this line B is passing through this point, which is in the x-axis, on x equal to 5 right here. So, we write x equal to 5. Now, we are not supposed to write your answer in the equation form, but you're supposed to write your answer in the in equation form using this symbol or the less than symbol. Now look at the type of line, okay? It's a dotted line. So first thing, we are going to write x, we leave space, we write 5. So now the unshaded part is this part, okay? While the shaded part is this side, which is less than 5, okay? So we are going to describe this line using the unshaded part, which is gray, greater. So here we are going to use the greater than e sign, okay? So I'm going to say x, x is greater than 5. This is our 
answer. In case you are wondering, are we not going to put equal to? No, because this line is a dotted word line. So this is just your, your answer. Okay, I hope you are, you are following. Let us now move on to the third line. We have answered this line and this one. We are remaining with this line that we are going to name as line what? T, C. Right, so for this line C now, line C, this line is passing through the x-axis at point x is equal to 2 right here. So you write x is equal to 2. Okay, so from here, they want you to describe the unshaded D region, which is this side. Okay. So, what type of a line is it? It's a solid line. So, the inquiries is going to be greater than or equal to or less than or equal to because it's a solid what? line. So, from here, what are we going to do? We are going to write x, we leave space, we write a 2. So, we need to put the inquiry sign right here. So, the shaded part is this part, which is greater. Okay, so here we have numbers that are greater than 2. Then here we have numbers that are less than what? So we have to describe the unshaded. Okay, we describe the unshaded, the unshaded region. Okay, or the unshaded part is the one that we are going to describe. So since this is a solid line, so this is less, this is greater. Okay, we have numbers that are greater than two. We have numbers that are less than two. So this is going to be x is less or equal to two. All right. So this is our answer. So we've come to the end of our lesson. Thank you so much, uh, everyone, for having time to view this content. Bye-bye.